Hello, this is my medical assistant simulation for assignment one, video one, for vital signs. I'm Joshua Bevins, this is my mom. She's gonna be the lovely patient today. Um, so first, we're gonna take the temperature. Yeah, we got a uh, lovely thermometer. Thermometer, thermometer, haha. <laughs> um, lovely with the jokes. It's great to uh, partake in, making sure they feel comfortable in their environment and surroundings with you, uh, as you're going to be taking multiple procedures and steps and, uh, yeah, figuring out what's going on with them and making sure everything's all right. So that's the point of this video. First th things first, uh, wash the hands. We're making sure that uh, the thermometer is clean and sterilized by using an alcohol prep pad. Uh, don't use it on the mouth though, that's not smart. Okay, so first things first. In my mouth? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so usually it'd take about roughly sixty to one hundred and twenty seconds. That that's like a very rough estimate, by the way, because uh, you usually shouldn't take two minutes. But if it's having a hard time finding the right spot to triangulate a specific temperature on a specific point, uh, it can take a little while, especially this thermometer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 98.8. The average temperature for an adult, my mother's age, or anywhere between 18 to her age, is uh, her age. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's 98.6, but my mom's always been like two temperatures higher. Um, so we're going to write that down on the lovely uh, piece of paper right here. All right, now on to the next step. So next up, we're going to be simulating her pulse uh, per minute, which we're going to use the, what the tutorial taught us where we find a specific point the on the wrist. So and, you should uh, come around this side. We're going to... Start the timer for 30 seconds, and then whatever it comes to, we're going to double it. And so. so. So I got 32, so I doubled would be 64. And uh, my mom has an Apple Watch on that can triangulate and check her beats per minute. We're gonna see how accurate it is. Just for uh, hey, video Siri, props. What's my heart rate? Exactly 64. 64. So that just goes to show. Uh, how accurate what we were taught shows us. I'll so. down to 62. <laughs> it, it's, it was 64. Which the deeds per minute can constantly change. Your Absolutely. pulse is based off of your, you know, when you're in a sticky situation or something's going on, something's stressful, your heart rate's always changing. For example, when you're exercising, your heart rate can be around 100, 120. Uh, it can, it, it just changes, fluctuates consistently. Your, your, um, Exercise level changing can and fitness level can affect it as well. Yeah, however, you're since I've gotten more physically fit, my resting heart rate goes as low as 40 couple beats a minute sometimes, and I thought that was bad, but and it cannot, it's apparently all, not can all change depending on age, uh, how your, how your physical form is, what kind of condition your body's in, uh, any kind of conditions, or uh, say you're terminally ill. Can all, can all change it. Yep. Now, next up, we're going to be checking her respiratory rate per minute. So we're gonna be going out into the lovely living room, which is our... Uh, living room. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know what I had there. So next up, sorry for the terrible quality. Next up, I was going to be laying down. We're gonna set a timer 
for one minute and we're going to be checking her breaths in a minute. Ah, so I have a stopwatch right here and uh, have it ready. So I'm ready. Ready? Yeah. the free complimentary jazz music I have in the background. That's a minute. So as you can see, what at the top it just went reached past, and it's been a minute. I counted nine. This that I had. Why did I say low? It just. And what was that? It's not loud. Why was it on? What? Okay, so there's a lot of things I have in the house. But anyway, we uh, after a total of sixty seconds, I have counted nine breaths per minute. That's how many she said. She counted. Uh, there you are. Now, next up, we're going to be doing the next and final steps where we take her and we have to measure her height and weight. Now, this can all change uh, depending on genetics, uh, the kind of food you eat, depending on vegetables and fruits. Uh, so your body has the right nutrition and nutritional value to what fell that made that noise, by the way. I was trying to um, but yes, that will uh, fluctuate how you develop and change. For example, I'm a five foot eight male and my mother is a five foot, but we're going to figure out if that's changed. Uh, my mother is 47 years old, <laughs> 46. Don't make, sorry, I had to abuse him. <laughs> uh, you know the school way actually. <laughs> it's not, we have fun here. I don't hit her though. That's a Yeah, we love each other. Don't do that to me. No. All right, so right here we have the lovely paper. We have pounds, height, weight, and feet. I said that wrong. That That is pulse. <laughs> I said the same thing twice. Now, uh, so we're going to be taking her and putting her right against the wall here. Uh, when do we, do we have something I can write back there? That's not going to... Oh, it better not be a pen. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, so we have to. Mom, I need you to take this off. <laughs> Always be sure to check. You don't. You don't want any incorrect things because I know my mother, and she's going to <laughs> want to try. All right, you're good. And cheat. All right, can you go grab the lovely tape measure, please? No, I'm right. the patient. You're also my assistant. You also called me I Ivy. Is, ah, geez, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to check your heart rate if you keep Thank that you up. <laughs> A cream fly, that's what that sound was. Thank you. 
Was Sorry about this. We're trying to currently find. So these are exactly 12 inches. I measured with a ruler. Um, and I'm going to try and read off. If, if it reads to about five foot, it's about as accurate as it's going to get. Um, keep in mind, it's only a little simulation. The line starts here. And it's right there. Press this yes and no. Come to exactly five foot. Mom! Hey, Ma! I did it! What? So it roughly comes out to, ex not even roughly, it comes out to exactly, these are exactly 12 inches. Um, as long as a foot long ruler. These are exactly a foot long. So I did it like that. And not to exactly five foot. Gee. So, and that's exactly what one was. So, we had the pulse, which was 64. 64. We have your height. Which was exactly five foot. Set out inches. Then we have her weight, which comes. Oh, yeah, we're gonna do your weight. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go grab a scale. So my mom weighs way too little. No. uh Okay. So we've got a trusty dusty scale. It reads out to exactly what my doctor weighed me the day I got weighed it was not long ago. Okay. So here we well, go. That, so that's actually accurate. Yes. All right, go ahead. 
step one. And so, we've got what my mom weighs right here. Comes out to 122.6. That's great. My mom is unhappy. She said, and naughty. Well, I was bad today, but.